Howdy folks, I'm Aaron, welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Today's video is only going to be a very quick video, it's a little tip that I picked up and I haven't stopped using it since. It's coming up. Okay then folks, how hope everyone's okay. First, long time no see for a lot of people, unless you follow me on Instagram. And I ain't been that active on there either, but anyway, I'm going to show you a quick little tip that i seen on, I think it was on YouTube somewhere. Nothing special, nothing new or fancy, but it's just perfect for what I do anyway for painting stuff. So I'm going to flip the camera around, just show you what it is, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll use it if it's any good for you. Radiator cover, as always. Um, I think what I'll do, I'll bring the camera a little closer and just show you, see if I can get these, these little, this gap. Okay then folks, so this is basically a, a radiator cover and as you can see this joint here has pulled together beautifully with the pocket screws uh, in the back. Uh, this one hasn't pulled in that tight for some reason, normally the glue seeps out and sorts that but it hasn't, it has just hasn't pulled in for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to fill this now before we put the primer on it. And basically all we're going to do is we're just going to squeeze some glue in. It's going to be like a sawdust and glue mix, but you're going to be doing it on the workpiece rather than mixing it separate. And it gets in there a lot better than if you was pushing it anyway. So I'm going to fill this with glue, just some wood glue. And then I'm going to get my sander, electric sander, and I'm going to force all of the sanding dust into that glue. And it's going to bring this joint pretty much invisible so yeah we're going to do that now and we'll get rid of this little pain in the arse you don't want too much on there really and all you want to do is just force that glue into that joint it doesn't really matter what the brand of glue is just something that sort of fast setting 10 minute job seems to work and the only other thing is you want to do this at the very end really because it does clog up your pads so they're not much good after but certainly better than waiting for filler to dry and all i've got here is just the rts 400 random orbital sander uh, and i've got some p80 in there i'm gonna sand it now force it in So yeah, that's it, easy as that. Um, saves waiting for filler to write and the filler's gonna crack anyway and I've found this a lot more flexible um, than the filler. And it paints, it's gonna sound really silly now, but it paints at the same rate as well where filler, you get some sort of flashing on there because the filler takes the paint differently to the MDF. It all absorbs the same, if that makes sense. So it's not a major problem, but it's just another little issue that this eliminates like I say, you know, not all the joints come together all the time and this is just just a perfect little solution. So yeah, hope you liked it. Hope you take something from it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, hope everyone is okay anyway. Let me know in the comments section below that you're all keeping busy. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys and girls.